All right. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Hello, hello. hello. Hey. I do have here Mario, Sally, hey, Mr. Milkor. Welcome back, sir. It's been a pleasure to have you back. Hello. Okay, don't worry. This Mr. Girl is already here. <laughs> hey, hi. How you doing? Pretty good? Yeah. Hey, we have a new body here. That's amazing. Hi, this is my first time here. I'm so... Don't be shy with me. Come on, no way. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to okay. have so much fun. Okay, don't worry. Ryan Milker? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, my God. A lot of time with seeing you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, where have you been, my friend? I'm pretty good. What about you? Pretty, pretty good actually excited excited to start this yeah, class yeah i, I was excited when i saw the message mom is say, yeah she's gonna be my teacher again yeah again oh i thought you said oh my god i'm gonna suffer again <laughs> <laughs> well yes and yes right milker yeah yeah you can tell your bodies you can tell your classmates that they're gonna suffer with me i'm not just kidding <laughs> no 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 well yes we're going to have so much fun i promise you guys but at the same time i have to let you know <sighs> that the blood will fall off yeah <laughs> don't 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 look at me like that stanley <laughs> it's like oh my god sorry i'm i'm scared i'm scared i come from don't a worry. Like, uh, oh no again <laughs> no but this is the first time that you are with me right yes yeah no don't worry don't get panic yeah our milk car survived so so do you <laughs> and you know what this is really nice because i had to let you know i'm the only girl in the group as of right now right oh. as of right now we gotta wait until the rest comes. But I do have, oh yeah, I have a, no, I'm not done. There is a girl, anymore. there is yeah. a girl. <laughs> Phew, thanks God. <laughs> hey, I have a Mario, I have Sally, Mr. Milker. Hey, Alex, how are you, man? There you go, I have a nod. How are you? Yeah, good, good evening. I'm so happy that I can see you once again. He used to be my student as well, Sally. Okay. Yeah, and too. also Amilcar. So he survived as well, you know. <laughs> yeah. I do have Paco, <laughs> Mr. Paco Rivas. I have Mr. Sergio David, right? Lovato. Yeah. Good to see you. Hi everyone. Good evening. Good, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, we we'll have Mr. Lenin Portillo. Um, also, Vero Carolina, right? Arevalo? Yes, Mr. good evening. Good evening, uh, beautiful lady, Liz Rene, and uh, Mr. Hernandez, right? All right, very good. So we have a lot of people here. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Hey guys, how was your weekend? Was it good? How was your vacation? Was it good? Yeah, Great, without good. learning English, right? <laughs> you rest a little bit, at least for one week. Well, I gotta let you know something. The oh, occasion is our over, so we need to start again. Hey, hey you are in pre advance, nice. right? Pre advance yes, went <laughs> all right. So that means that today, uh, <laughs> well, I will let just one or two um Spanish words in during the model, only two, but I prefer and I expect. That you speak English, right? Just English. And I, I'm going to yes. let you know something. As I already advised Milker and Alex, that they used to be my students. Um, basically, you would like to express yourself to explain something. Um, don't try to like look for sophisticated language. No way. You got to use the language that you have. The language that you learned so far. The language that you manage, okay? Try to do it like that way. As simple as possible. Don't complicate your life. During the time, you're going to learn something new. And of course, it's going to be added in your own vocabulary that you already have so far. And after that, you will be able to use it. But right now, don't complicate your life. 
try to just make it as simple as possible, okay? And also, um, let me let you know something. I also ask That's Alex and Amilcar. Comprehension. Yeah, exactly. That if I speak faster, please let me know, okay? I'm going to slow down a little bit. Or if you said, teacher, what did you say? Like, ah. Yeah, like a big question mark here on your face. Okay, that's okay. Yes, let me know, okay? And I will repeat it. Because sometimes I speak really fast. And sometimes I have a different accent. I do not have American accent. So <laughs> if you have noticed, sometimes it will be a little bit harder, right? For you to understand. Right, Alex? What? Like the accent. <laughs> Yeah, like exactly. A, like in London, right? Britain. A British, yes. I like the accent, accent. You like accent. Okay, cool. You're a British girl. Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> yeah, so that's why. In mm Portuguese, -hmm. said, what? <laughs> well, as I've learned, uh, uh, as a British way, that's what I learned English. So that's the way to speak. It's not like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like you're looking question. fancy. No, no, no. Yeah, you got a question? Say, who had a question? Mr. Me, Hernandez? Oh, yeah, I'm done. Okay, cool, uh, cool. Sure, go ahead. You learn English in British? Yeah. Really? Yes. Ah, I, <laughs> I like that accent. That's the way to learn it. Um, I have learned it. Well, I have listened in English since I was three years old, so I have Spanish and English in the at the same time and uh, well and also have but i really focus on the english learning since i was eight years old until 14 years old but the whole period that i focus 100 percent of english right as a subject and basically since then all my doves have been related to english and i speak english like <laughs> from 6 30 and in the morning <laughs> until <laughs> 10 30 p.m. every day <laughs> so basically oh my god this is my first and second language i can say so you're gonna learn a lot with me okay hey, let me ask you something um i just want to uh, listen to your perspectives or your ideas or your goals that you want to like to reach in this model somebody Okay, hold your horses one at a time, please. One at a time. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, Sergio. Ah, uh, yeah. I have noticed that you like to uh, speak a lot. So go ahead, sir. The magnets of the all yours. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sergio David Rodriguez Lobato. I'm living in Mercedes Maña, Usulután. From Oriente. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. It's pretty hot today. All right. Yeah. It's pretty hot. Sometimes mm -hmm. the weather is cold and sometimes the weather is really hot. But yeah, yeah. But if you want to make a tour here, welcome. The people are here are very friendly. Yeah, I have noticed that because of your smile. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, one of my expectations is one mm -hmm. is a love. One of them is learn a lot English. By the way, uh, try to speak more fluently because most of the time here in our environment, we speak uh, Spanish. Uh, one of the things that we speak Spanish most of the time because uh, around the, the people, we, we, we surround a lot of people who speak Spanish in our work and in school and in, in the bus and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And here, that is the opportunity to speak English uh, in this time. Uh, another one is like to learn uh, vocabulary, phrases, idioms, phrase verbs, just kind of the, 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 the every daily life of the, of the English languages. Uh, definitely. <laughs> okay. The other one is like, Mm -hmm. to learn uh, grammar, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of my goals is at the end of this time... with the right person. 
Uh, okay. You're the right teacher. That's good to know. <laughs> You're going to suffer. Okay, <laughs> continue. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> and finally, I ask one of my goals to, to be a, a, a teacher, an English teacher. Learn to, learn to, learn to teach brother how to teach. That's the attitude, my friend. Woohoo! All right, very good. And you will be, definitely. If you have the attitude, if you would like to, you have the commitment. Of course, you will, definitely. And you are like, yeah. like easy going, I can see that. And a hyper guy, right? I, I try to. <laughs> you try to. Yeah, Mr. Sergio is, looks like he's just like drunk three Red Bulls before coming to class. Uh, no. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey, by the way, uh, yeah, no, no, continue, please. Oh, no. no. That's it? Hey, 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 guys, what is the phrase that we had to say when you finish? That's it. Right? Excellent. Very good, Alex. That's it. That means there's nothing more to say, all right? When you finish talking, that's it. No, okay. I finish. Right. No way. No, 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 no. That's it. And we know that definitely you finish, right? Very good, excellent, excellent job. Mm -hmm. Anybody else, any other volunteer? I'd really appreciate your patience. Very good, Maria, go ahead. We cannot listen to you, sorry. Uh, good evening, everyone. Can you okay. listen to me? Yeah, we can listen to you, Rene. Yeah, in the meantime, when Mario's fixing uh, his uh, something, we're gonna listen to uh, Rene. Okay, go ahead, Rene. Uh, okay, I'm very glad to be here with you guys, and I want to improve my English a lot. I would like to speak really fluent, like natives do, and I really want to be a polyglot. I'm learning. Russian and German as well. What? For real? Yes, for real. And I work in a factory and we, we produce windows and doors. And in my free time, I, I like to, to learn languages. And actually I was, I've been taking German and, and Russian lessons through Skype. And I'm very glad now because now I'm taking as well uh, English classes. That's amazing. You broke my heart. Really? Yeah. That's, That's the spirit that I need. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So very good you will be. Oh, my goodness. I think you, you had right now, oh, your brain is divided into like <laughs> three. Spanish, right? <laughs> yeah. Russian, yeah. Uh, English. And what's the other language that you like to speak? To, you like to learn? Um well, I, I love learning languages, and so I, I enjoy it with every language. Okay, man, I will teach you some French words as well, okay? All right. <laughs> That's amazing. Very good. Excellent. Good job. All right, okay. Mario, this already if works for you? I think, uh, cool. yeah. Yes, I think yes, we can listen I'm to ready. you. I'm cool. ready. Okay, my name is uh, Maricania, so I am four, 45 years old. So I'm a math teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a math teacher, really? and um, oh my god, yeah, yeah. I'm in trouble. <laughs> and one of my uh, goals here is to improve my uh, grammar because I think it's not poor, but it's not in the highest level yet. Uh, also, if if I have the opportunity, I would like to take the TOEFL uh, soon, maybe at the end of this year and uh, get a certificate That's nice. because I think it's, it's important. I, I've been studying English for many years, but I think I, that's something I need to get. Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, one of the things that I want to improve is my is, is speaking, but in a specific areas. Mm -hmm. For example, science, uh, mm -hmm. when you talk about statistics, uh, when you talk about uh, let me see uh, politics and okay. I want to improve in those areas because mm -hmm. I believe uh, so far I have like the skills of communication uh, 
kind of. <laughs> you you will see. <laughs> Thank you, and that's all. Okay, very. No, 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 that was not double. That what's the phrase? That's it. Exactly. That's it. Remember, Mario, that that's all folks. That was Box Bonnie, right? <laughs> that's, it. that's it. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you. Who else wants to participate? Stanley, what about you? Good night, guys. Um, as as the window says, my, my name is Stanley. Stanley. Um, I'm a music producer. Wow. And I live here in the, in the Salvador with my family. Um, I worked. Uh, I worked at P, the performance, for I don't know two years. Okay. And I got the the supervisor places. Ooh. And when I got the supervisor places, I started to to stop speaking English. It was like a more give the order than receive the order and, and talk to the customer. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was feeling like different the accent mm -hmm. because the American accent is like everything so easy man you're gonna see uh, it depends of the, the people who's calling you because sometimes it's black people and all the United States you will see and if you if you if you go there you're going to see that every single area has a different accent you for example Alabama and people is like and yeah, yeah, you're right. You're gonna see that name is here. And this is my way to talk. And they told me, do you understand me? That, that, that's what I that's what I remember. That it was incredible. But I stopped working there in order to to dedicate myself to my music. Yeah. That I consider that is the most important to me. That's why uh, I started to music, 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 and I stopped speaking English. Mm -hmm. And believe me, guys, that this is a language that you can't forget. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. If if you if you forget to speak English or you if you stop speaking English, you are you are losing a part of the best language in the world. If you speak English, the the half of the world is going to understand you, and you are mm -hmm. going to understand the half of the world. You're hundred percent true, Sally. And yeah, exactly. That's true. Hey, so my goodness, you know what? I have the elite here, right? I'm talking to the highest level here of the society. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm having a here um, teachers, who supervisors. <laughs> oh my goodness, polyglottes, right? Oh yes. my goodness. I feel like little. <laughs> yeah. Little yeah. For, uh, for example, the headset that I'm using right now yeah? are my, my code center headset. Really? The that I got. Ah, you, hey, this is up in you too, so you, you take it out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. That's yeah, cool. And, and that's it. That's it? That's it. No, that was wonderful. Thank you so much, Sally. Hey, by the way, Alex and Emilcar, do you know what's the meaning for teasing? When I said I'm teasing you? What teasing you? Yeah, kind yeah. of uh, like a kid in here. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. But it's like a, you do a, a personal. Uh huh. A lot of one, you're referring to one single person. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Person, so right? did you did you understand uh, Mr. Alex Cornejo what he explained? <laughs> yeah, or no? Sergio, Stanley. No, Renan? I didn't hear it. No, I was asking him because uh, I said I was teasing uh, Stanley, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah? Yes. You, know, you know what that means, right? Yes. Yeah, what does it mean, yes. Rene? And I know when you are making laugh of, of something you you or someone or just uh, joking. <laughs> just joking, with, but with a specific person. Yes. That's teasing. Yeah, exactly. All when right. I'm making a joke for everybody, I'm just kidding. Okay? okay. That's the difference. Very good. Excellent. <clears throat> Mr. Portillo, how are you, sir? Well, I'm Ms. Carr. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a radio voice. Okay. I hear all oh, speaking English very well, and I don't, I don't do that. Oh, don't so worry. I'm very scared. Don't be scared. That's why you're here. 
everybody will hey guys i have to let you know guys we are going to be uh oh, hopefully we can be about the end of the model uh a good friends a family a team all right we're gonna work as stanley already know a team we work together we support each other right that's what we're gonna be so don't worry don't worry don't be afraid okay mr Portillo. okay don't worry okay. just express yourself like the way that you can that's good okay so we'll listen to you go ahead uh well my name is lenin alexander portillo mm -hmm. um in a difference the the kind of word of at all is my work is be a pastor okay so a preacher I, yeah, preacher. I need to learn English to, well, I want to speak well with the um, missionary okay. that comes to the church. Mm -hmm. I want to make friends when they come in. I want to know something about them. And I want to uh, try to speak very well. So I hope. I hope to learn so much. Very good. And you will. You will. I uh, hope so. Yes, you and, will. And I'm glad because I hear uh, uh, someone, guys, say that you are a good teacher. I don't know. So, you have to You have to interview <laughs> Alex and I mean, Milker. Uh, they say it. So I, have, I, I hope that you can teach me very well. <laughs> I will do my best. And I had okay. to let you know you're going to do 80% and I'm going to do 20%. How it goes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs> yeah. You can ask them. You're going to work harder. Yeah. Harder. I want me. to work harder. Yeah. They said that I'm a good teacher, but they, didn't ha they haven't let you know the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> look, at, look at Alex right now. Look at him. Look at his face right now he's yes. like ah, you don't know where you're <laughs> you're about to suffer man <laughs> oh my yeah. god <laughs> yeah so don't worry about so, it <laughs> so i must be more scared and no 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 everything's gonna be all right i promise you know what everybody said that you like to improve your speaking and everything so that's what we're doing right now because we already started classes you see um, i need to listen to your pronunciation and everything so i just ask you a few questions Hey, and guys, you have to do something. You, I have to let you know something before we continue. Um, every time I'm going to, uh, I want you to pay attention because we're doing this, this kind of exercises also to get to know each other a little bit much better, of course, because most of you are the first time that we are together, right? I think only Alex and Emma Milker, they already know a little bit of each other, but the rest of you don't. So. Uh, in this case, I want you to be very, 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 very appreciated with everything that everybody says and pay attention because I'm a girl or I'm a teacher who loves to do games and play. And why I do that? Because uh, I always try to uh, work the different skills in a different ways. And I love to work the listening skill, which Stanley, they know, he knows for sure that it's a really important skill, right? But it's one of the most difficult to develop. So, and the call center is one of the best schools to, to develop the, the listening best, skill. And mm -hmm. I, would, I would say that it's the best school to mm -hmm. listening, but only when we are talking about the account in that you in which you are working mm -hmm. in that moment. For example, if you talk to me about science and math and hospital, I'm not going to. I will be like in the moon. But <laughs> if you if you talk to me about hotels, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a great class about yeah, hotels. Of course. Yeah? them and that's, that's why you yeah that's why you aren't going to get uh, a good english in your area but there is going to be some topics that you aren't going to be like uh, what are you talking about exactly yeah. yeah and you are sure that's and that is what is the things that mario will face for example in the preparation for the TOEFL, because the TOEFL and uh, the articles of the reading is uh, in the writing uh, section will be like 
high levels. So most of the time, you're going to face something that is not your area, but it doesn't mean you're going to fail. We're going to develop the skills that will help you to understand words or vocabulary that is the first time that you read it, but you will be able to understand it with developing the skill that we need to, okay? Because you're not a scientist and sometimes you're going to face science article, laws article, et cetera, right? Astronomy article, like what? No, of course, but I will teach you how to do it, right? So you will develop the skills that you would need it. Definitely, 100% sure, but you're gonna suffer with me. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, but thank you so much for your um, your information, Stanley. I really appreciated that. That counts for a really good experience in call center. How long have you been in this call center? You said two years? Two years, right? Yeah, it was two years, but um, taking courses was like six months. Ooh, six months? Yeah. And you became a supervisor? Wow. And I, got it, I got it really, really fast. Yeah. From the beginning, um, the, attention, the attention. And also, um, these guys don't think it bad about me. But yeah, um, think about him. Yeah. my supervisor in that moment was my girlfriend. Then. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was like. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, please don't don't take don't take me wrong, please. <laughs> no, don't worry, Dali. We're just yeah. teasing you. That, that's great. Excellent. So you see. Well, I had to let you know that I have nine years of experience in a call center. Those nine years. Nine years, was... sir. Nine and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so I know what you're talking about. Whoa. <laughs> I remember that many years ago I tried to you tried? Uh, to to, to get a job in a call center. And what happened? I, I didn't get it. Why? They, they said your English level is not good at the moment, okay? Ah. It was at the, at the end of the, the 90s. Oh, the 90s. Ooh, really? Mm -hmm. I was yeah, a baby they, by they, then. They, <laughs> they, they sent me to, uh, what was the name of that school? Berlitz. <laughs> I, Berlitz, I, think, I remember that, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I think Berlitz is not here in El Salvador anymore. No anymore, no. No anymore. Hey, but you went to a really, really good school. Got to let you know that. Very good. Okay, guys. So hopefully you have been paying attention to your coworkers. Um, when I ask you something, who said that uh, 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 lives in the Sultan and the Sultan people, they're really friendly. Who said that? Amilka. Very good, Mario. Hey, who said that is a teacher? Mario. 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 Very good. Very good, Carito. Okay. Who said that it's afraid about me? <laughs> Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. No. That was Lenin. Oh, that was Lenin. That was Lenin. Yeah, yeah. Lenin. No, Alex is not afraid about me anymore. He already knew me. Not anymore. And, and, and I made a <laughs> mistake anymore, right? with a car. I made a mistake with a milk car. I think it was, it was uh, Sergio. Thank you from Sultan. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Very good. And las tostacas. Las tostacas. Okay, I know. Oh, what's the? Oh, yes. That's the little bread that has like a little honey in the middle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. love that with cup of coffee. That's amazing. <laughs> and who said that he's studying Russian at the same time? He's studying English. Luis. Luis. Very Luis. good. Very good. Okay. And who hasn't participated so far? John, Irina, Maria, um, Ernestina. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And Amilcar, of course, he hasn't participated. Huh. Mr. Parco. Yeah, Mr. but he, that they will be. Don't worry. Hey, guys, one of the things that, we're, that I will <laughs> ask you every time that we start in the class. So I want you guys to prepare it because I'm not going to ask it to everybody. But I will pick like two or three or maximum four guys to tell me how was your day. Okay? Every day that we will start a class, I'm going to ask you that. Why 
because I want you to practice one of the ten tenses that they are really not difficult, but the people um, mix it up a little bit and do not use it appropriately. And this is the verb tense of the simple past, okay? So I just I want you guys to mm -hmm. practice that every day because I wanna know how is your knowledge in verbs, okay? Especially the regular and the irregular ones. And also, I will also try to double check about the pronunciation of the regular ones that they do not pronounce it in the same way, okay? So every time that we'll start a class, I'm gonna ask you, how was your day? And you gotta give me like a brief explanation. No, the whole soap opera, okay? Because it will take like the whole hour, no way. No, just a little thing about what do you do. That's it. Okay. Okay, got it, Carito? Yeah? Got it? Cool? Yes. Yeah, I, love, I love your face. She's like, hey, hey. I, at least I'm happy because we have three girls, right? Phew. You know what? I was really scared. I was the only pretty woman, you know? <laughs> in the, yes, teacher, keep you dreaming. Yeah. Uh, in the in the group and then Kim Carito and I could yeah and the stylist said hey there's another girl over there yeah and also Irina okay very good hey we're already practicing our English and you know what guys to introduce this topic uh is I want your opinion about something okay um everybody has friends right of course of course right yeah friends that be a long time your friend or something somebody that you are uh, like have met like a two weeks ago or two months ago, whatever. So we have friends that we hang around at school, at neighborhood, at our work, etc. right? Okay, but during the time, there are some friends that get a little bit closer to us, right? <laughs> and then become our girlfriends, <laughs> our boyfriends, right? <clears throat> And for future references. Uh, Supervisors too. Uh, yes. Uh, we're not talking about Stanley. No, 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 no. That is just an example, right? Yeah, right, Mario. Okay. Defend yourself, Stanley. Huh. <laughs> In my defense, yeah. she was she was my girlfriend before I worked in at TP. Yeah. You see? She she was my she was my girlfriend before I worked at TP. Then so you got it still? You got it, Mary? Yeah, you got no. You yeah, got yeah. me, man. Yeah, yes, that's the spirit that I love. You know what I'm saying, no? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So talking about relationships and just like taking the Stanley's example, right? Of course. Uh, I want your opinion. Yeah, so Stanley will be the first one that I want to listen to. And that what I really need to know, guys is for example, talking about uh, love and marriage. Uh, what qualities do both men and women look for in their partners? Anybody's opinion? Go ahead, Alex. You are a married man, so we need, we need to listen to your wisdom, you know? Mm -hmm. well. Go ahead. <laughs> So you say, say again? I said again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't listen, teacher. I May mean, I apologize? <laughs> it's like, what is yeah. there a transference over here? All right. No, no, no. I just want to know, guys, that, uh, yes, mm -hmm, of course. No, basically, what I want to know is that what qualities do women and men look for in a partner? What qualities? Sometimes in men and women. Men. Men uh -huh. for a partner for, who have a good sense of humor. Good sense of humor. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, honest. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, uh, who have a, a great time, sociable, friendly. Those kind of things that men men and women are looking for a partner. Okay. Also, we talk with, uh -huh, go ahead, Sergio. They Both. Both. Looking for yeah. someone who have a uh, support, economy support. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. That is Mr. Serge's opinion. He's talking about both men and women in general. Are you agree with him? Or would you like to add something else, guys? Uh, well, yes, Rene, I go think ahead. that uh, people look for different qualities in, in every person. You know what I say? 
and uh, there's no accounting for taste and and maybe someone is looking for a, a beautiful person just thinks about the appearance mm -hmm. and there are other people that maybe they think more about uh, feelings or as as Sergio they, that Sergio said mm -hmm. uh, sense of humor mm -hmm. yes and maybe uh, the appearance could be uh, important yeah. just at the beginning but uh, as you get along with this person maybe you you can you may not like this person just uh-huh uh -huh. yes <laughs> that's really interesting very good okay very good and uh, now uh, i want to listen a girl okay who is going to participate okay thank you so much carito go ahead what <laughs> okay um I don't know what I see in a guy is his personality. Take a note, guys, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> his personality, he has to have good vibe, self love, self confidence, and a lot of love for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the, one of the most important thing, right, Mr. Portillo? Thank you, Carito. Yes. Very good. All righty. <laughs> Let's listen to some, uh, guy, well, one of the guys that I haven't listened to, Mr. Paco R Rivas. Okay. I want to listen to your opinion, sir, please. Well, nice to meeting you guys. Nice to meet you, uh, my sir. name is Francisco Rivas. You can call me Paco. Uh, I'm 40 I'm married. Oh, okay. I live here in La Paz. Yeah, I live near the airport. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, by the time I'm uh, spending the night with one of my aunt, she has never had a family. So she grew up with my grandparents. Now she's 66 and she's alone. So I come uh, many times to spend the night with her. Also my oldest uh, sister, Mm -hmm. uh, she, she comes by uh, sometimes. So, well, I have been listening to everyone and mm -hmm. I want to tell you something about uh, me. I work as a cab driver or Ooh. maybe like a, I, I could say a shuttle bus driver. Okay. But I do also work as a salesperson. I work with a man who owns a company in Washington DC, mm -hmm. uh, he has uh, uh, he sells secondhand goods. Well, for you can have a a better uh, a better idea. He's one of the providers or one of the suppliers for the Genesis stores Ooh. and also for the Premium Center. Mm -hmm. So I met him like seven years ago at the airport, and I was. I started to drive uh, him from airport to hotel and and vice versa. And one of the time he told me about to help him in one of his meetings. So after that, he gave me the opportunity uh, to start work with him. So now I have been working with him for uh, directly for maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. And well, that's why I am here because I would like to improve uh, my knowledge man, and also to improve my fluency. Oh. That's one of the things that I would like to, uh, to improve. And so that's this nice. Is, I think that's it. I, I, I couldn't uh, stop talking, telling you about uh, my life because I have uh, too much history about me and my uh, we can imagine that. that I love. So, Don't worry, there will be an, a time and exercises of, that you're going to explain uh, a lot of things to us. Uh, all right, yeah. so that is part of my introduction. So nice to meet in everyone. But don't How worry, don't go. Time. Don't go because I want to listen to your opinion. Uh, okay. You are married, you said, right? So you have a wisdom about that. So, uh, and of course, uh, 
uh, I had I want to know what is exactly you uh, men look for in a woman and a partner. Well, to be honest, when I was pay attention, uh, guys, in, take notes. Okay, yeah, take note. This is very important to know. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> when I was uh, single, I always okay. thought about to find a humble girl. Uh, honest girl I uh, well the first impression I think for everyone is you know the appearance mm -hmm. that, that's mostly the first thing that everyone's that every human being uh, looks for mm -hmm. but after that the the, the compliment comes about in my case mm -hmm. about honesty uh, humble person and also, uh, to have the same idea to uh, become a partner and to make a family, you know, and to educate your family in the same way mm -hmm. to create a good kid, you know, who can be a good example for your community or for the society, you know. So mm -hmm. this is one of, I think... Um, in my case, in my opinion, I was looking for you know, very good a, a person, a person, and for the honesty, uh, mostly you know, good behavior, and to respect to each other. That's know? really important. That was my focus. That was really my focus. Okay, thank you, Paco. Okay, guys, do, are you agree with some information oh. that Paco share that Paco share with us? Yep. Okay, today, uh, I, hopefully everybody has enrolled in what, the WhatsApp group. Is everybody there by any chance? No. Ah, no. Well, I want you to no. be there, okay, no. from now on. Because I want to I wanna send it to you some information, and I want you to be there. Let me know if you are there, please. Okay, I get it. All right. Yes, we are here. We are listening. <laughs> okay, so that's why you're there. Very good. The reason why I'm asking you about that is because I want to share with you some information that is really important about, for example, some characteristics so, or some information that most of the time men look for in a partner. But at the same time, I want to ask, uh, share with you some information or so qualities that a girl look for in a, in a man. And I want you guys that for the information that I will send it to you, which is going to be about, um, I think, 10 characteristics for a man and 10 characteristics for a woman. I just want you guys to take a look really quickly. And in your own words, I, wanna, I want you to choose which ones uh, are the most important for you. Yeah. I think I sent it to you. Just let me know if you receive it. But if you don't, just let me know as well. I send you for okay. a man, right? I got it. You. you got it? Cool. Okay. And I, th I think I'm going to send it to you right now for a woman. I'm not in the group. Okay. So you got to be there. Okay. I think I sent it to you for a woman as well, right? Okay. For example, guys, while, yeah. while you are enrolling, um, for a man, I have 10 characteristics. I got beliefs in his capabilities, understanding, what uh, Paco said, uh, compliments, acceptance, direct conversation, affection, respect, as well, what you said, free time, trust, and companionship. For those 10 things, which ones do you consider that are most important for you? I'm talking about men. Those are the 10 things that normally, for example, I give you the information about men in the United States, okay? That's what I'm giving you that information right now. Because I as Stanley said, we have different culture. Yes, go ahead, Sergio. I, I be, can I say something? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I, I believe I believe that depends of uh depends of your uh, of your idea. If you mm -hmm. want to get uh to know someone just for you know, for dating or go out 
love is not important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love is in there, be, right? uh, at, the, at the beginning, probably love is the less important. Uh, at the beginning, yeah. But then? Okay, then, okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. I gave you time 10 together, tips. Time mm -hmm. together, positive uh -huh. attitude, okay. uh, good listener, mm -hmm. good health. All right. Uh, only that. Only that. What about you guys, the one that you received that information, Alex, for the tent that I sent yeah, it to yeah. you? Which one do you think that are most important? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, respect and you know, understanding each other. Mm -hmm. um, and trust. Okay. Trust, trust the person. So the, Alex said that uh, he, in a partner, he looks for somebody who he can trust right a, a person that um, understands him right and also a person who respect him right okay very good now uh, 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 irena are you there yes teacher yes I'm of here. Course. good night good night my little baby all right <laughs> so you have noticed the information that i sent for the girls okay what a girl look for a partner in the United States, for example. And also, I gave you 10, 10 um, qualities or information. So for those 10 that you can see there on the WhatsApp group, which one do you think are most important? Uh, teacher, I apologize, but I am not in the WhatsApp group. Could Come you on, you got to be there. <laughs> okay. For next time, please enroll it, okay? Okay. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. So, Carolina... Hey, yes. I, I have a, my good Spanish is improving. <laughs> yes, Carolina. <laughs> all righty. So what about you, my girl? Mm, maybe responsibility at home. Mm -hmm. A positive attitude. Awesome. Attitude, good. Mm, a good listener. Okay. The woman knew him to listen to her. <laughs> yeah, good listener, and, yes. And love. <laughs> And love, of course. Love is in the air, right? Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. You see, Stanley's like, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah, definitely. You mentioned something really important. For us, it's really important that a man is a really good listener. Right, Alex? Right, Paquito? Yeah, of course. Right, Lenny? Yeah. yeah. All righty. Guys, and you know what? You Maybe you are thinking, why is the teacher asking so many questions, give us all this information, let us speak about that topic, etc., etc.? Not only because I want to know your opinion, and of course I want you to speak, right? And to speak, to speak, to speak, because you have two choices with me. Or you have to speak, or you have to speak. Which one you are going to pick? Speak. Speak, of course. Speak. Only two choices, and that's it. All right, so why? Do you remember that Alex said who affects, uh, or also Carolina said, dad loves me, who is a good listener, etc. So who and that. For example, guys, when we would like to explain or uh, the qualities that we're looking for somebody who hang up with, right? We we'll use relative clauses. And that is why, let me check, Renee is an interesting in as well. Also Mario, also Sergio because he loves <laughs> grammar, right? Mm -hmm. So, and this is one of the things that somebody was asking in the WhatsApp chat, right? Hey, what can mm -hmm. I do here? How can I do this? Like, mm, all right, don't worry, don't worry. You're going to learn how to do it. You see, who and that. What do we call that? Relative class, right? Hey guys, or relative pronouns in this case, because I will going to talk about relative pronouns, relative who pronouns. and that. We have three actually, who, that, and which. But today we're going to focus on two, who and that, as a pronouns. Yes, guys, that ones we can use in the two ways. We can use it as a subject and we can use it as an object. Okay, but how we're gonna do it? That's the focus. That's the problem thing. Okay, don't worry. What I want you to do right now, because we're already starting the speaking, but now I want you to develop your listening, 
right? So let me do something. Let me play an audio for you. And I have to let you know, by the way, uh, since you are pre advanced the audio, I will play it only one time. No two times. No three times. Only one time. Okay, teacher. All right. Uh, Maria Ernestina. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to pay attention, okay? What I want you to understand is that this is a, a going to be a, like um, a stylist age, people, right? Because I think a stylist is really young. I think he's one of the youngest here. Or no, Stanley? How old are you, by the way? May I apologize to ask you that? And 21 years old. Oh, yes, you're a baby. But really? I consider that I know the, the youngest. There are people who I not see in the, the video. So what? Really am, I, really am I the youngest? I think you are the youngest, Tally. That's what I think. I'm 19. Who's 19? John. John? You are, yeah. are you 19? Yeah. Oh, oh, little boy. Oh my God, you are a baby boy. <laughs> really? And who is younger than John? Uh-huh. Who is younger than him? Nobody? No. No? Okay. No. So we have the two Thank babies you, here. Thank you, Jan. Just say to me. You say to me. Come on. No. And who is the oldest one here? I guess I am, teacher. No. Yes. I'm 50. Who's 50? Me. Who? Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize because I have a problem with my video because uh -huh. my computer doesn't have a video camera. Okay. And I try to connect my my mobile, but I can't. I can't uh, make to play the, the video camera. I promise tomorrow oh, I will okay, okay, don't repair worry. it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That's then okay. tomorrow you will see me that I'm the oldest of the group, I guess. You're not. Don't worry <laughs> about that. Okay, okay, so guys, uh, thank you, Arena. I just want you to pay attention about the conversation. And basically what I want to know is that I want you to focus on one thing, only one thing. Listen carefully what are the characteristics or the qualities that the guys are mentioned about one person, okay? That's it. That's the only thing that I need. All righty, so allow me just one moment. Let me share right now my information to you. How did... Can you listen? Yeah? Or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there you go. That's what I need. Him like him. So, what's the verdict? What did you think of Bob? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that he rode a huge motorcycle. I thought he might be one of those guys who is into heavy metal music and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's just a regular kind of guy, right? Yeah. We got along really well. I knew you'd like him. Yeah, I do. And he's really funny. He had me laughing so hard at the coffee shop, remember? I think the people sitting next to us thought we were crazy. So, are you two going to get together again? Definitely. In fact, we're going to the wedding together. That's great. Uh-huh. So... What is the name of the person that they're talking about? They, <laughs> like, didn't, they didn't say it. Oh, come they on, didn't. they did. Come on. I didn't hear that. Was uh, Bob? Yeah, uh, Bob. Yeah. Very good. Bob. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> you see. Hey, guys, was... we, are, we are developing that listening for a specific information. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. There's a point. <laughs> exactly. So now, now uh, let me ask you something. Okay, they were discussing, right? They were friends, right? So the friend wants to know about the girl's impression oh. about Bob. So what? How did she describe him? Uh -huh. uh, she she First. thought he was going to be a, a rude guy because he was riding a motorcycle, but 
he turned out to be a nice guy. Uh huh. That what was his appearance? Motorcycle. So he was like a heavy metal guy, right? Motorcycle. Right. Heavy metal guy. <laughs> exactly. You're like. Those are nice ones. Okay, very good. So, but, so, but what happened? How what was at the at the end? What was happened between all of them? What happened between them? Uh, he thing. may he may have left, uh, and uh, she she decided to uh, go out with him. Uh huh. Again. And when he asked, when the the friend asked her that it was planning to go out with him. How was her reaction? Definitely. Uh, oh, you see? No, 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 no. With emotion, Irene, please. With emotion. <gasps> definitely. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, definitely. Well, of course. Yeah. I will go with that guy. Definitely. Oh, yeah, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah, and why? Uh huh. Sally, go ahead. I heard, and uh, she was worried at the beginning, at the, at the uh -huh. start. Why? Because he was like heavy metal person, <laughs> but uh -huh. uh, he eventually he mm -hmm. was funny, kind of funny. Really so funny. Everything, and the first coffee, the coffee cup is the coffee. Coffee <laughs> is magic. Yeah, coffee that's is right. magic. Yeah, that's right. Hey, and she mentioned something really important uh, when he when they met each other. What kind of person is that? Is Bob? Uh huh. Funny. Yes. Uh huh. Um, he's uh. I forget the word. I forget. Uh, I he was forget the word. A trick instead of the. Uh huh. Say funny. Uh huh. He said that yeah. She said that she that he was his. Ah oh, man, uh, I forget it. I'm sorry. It, no, she no. learned. Yeah, she learned that he was completely different. That uh -huh. he was a nice one, right? He, so she experience. said he's uh, he aren't too serious, right? That's what he said. And also, she said, uh, and who have a good sense of humor, all right? Mm -hmm. And what else she can say? Who I who I can talk easily. That's what she mentioned as well. Well, I can talk easily. Why I like popping up that information? Because that will be our like trampoline, if we can say that, for tomorrow's grammar. Yeah, because of course we have only three minutes in like teacher. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I know how we're going to develop those skills. Tomorrow, we're going to get deeply into that relative pronouns, who and that. And we're gonna double check guys, how we can use them in two ways. We can use it as a subject and we can use it as an object. But there are some tricky things there, okay? So we gotta pay attention, not only at the punctuation, because for me, it's really important that punctuation, you can ask them that punctuation for me is a must, okay? Because I don't, I don't even care how you write in Spanish, but I do care how you write in English. And also, you will be able to see which verbs do we use in what tenses, and if we use adjectives or not. And also, guys, you will learn how to identify a subject in a question, in a sentence as well, and how you identify an object in a sentence. Because sometimes you have the two things in one in one sentence. Okay, miss. And you need to identify both of them. Also, let me ask you something before we finish, because we still have time. Uh, you know what clause is? Because we're gonna we're we're going to talk about tomorrow um, relative pronoun as a subject and as an object, but also they are like a relative clauses, of course. So do you know what you know, clause the translation. is? But I don't understand very well. I, you know, I was really bad in grammar in Spanish. No, don't worry. Yeah. You're, you're going to be 10 in English, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> a clause, guys, is another way to say a sentence. Okay? So it's basically it is. Okay. Yeah, but we're going to identify it, the clause, in the, as in the relative pronoun area. 
That's what we're going to identify. So what we have done right now, discussing about qualities and everything, listen about this conversation and talk about that, is basically uh, the introduction of tomorrow's talk. Okay? And you're going to learn more vocabulary and more information about that will help you to describe the persons, okay? You'd already know about sense of humor, sociable, uh, respect, et cetera, right? But you're going to learn more about that, I promise. Today will be like, it was like easy going class, what I can say. So I promise that I'm gonna participate tomorrow. <laughs> You're not going to participate tomorrow? No, I promise that I'm going to. Ah, okay, you will. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, you're going to, definitely. Okay. Yes, Paquito? Yes, uh, may I have your name, please? So no. I, I wasn't at the beginning of the, uh, of the class. Come on. I, you know what? To be honest with you, I didn't say my name. <laughs> right, guys? No! I didn't say it. Right, Alex? Yeah, you didn't. By, by Alex and Amilcar, no, they know how. What is my name? What is my name, sir? Guys, hey, let, let me check. Can let you me, imagine? Hold it, hold it, hold he was really with sorry. me the last month, and he really forgot sorry. my name. Shame on you, Alex. Come on. Excuse me, whenever you said class, that is not a hundred. I didn't hear your name. Uh -huh, of course, Al Amilcar. Yeah. yeah. What? Miss, what? Miss Silvia Rosales. Rosales, that is not my last name. <laughs> no way. Yes, the first name is correct, Alex, but the last name, no. <coughs> Maybe it's your correct no. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> no, no, no. You have noticed that I'm a crazy teacher as well, right? <laughs> yes, definitely am. Okay. No. Okay. My name is Sylvia. Sylvia, what is yeah. your last name? And your last name, please. See us in Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. My last name is Saguero. Okay. And I have my second one, one that is Cruz. C R U Z, as in zebra. So you can call me Sylvia. You can you can write it in three ways, okay? I will write it to you in the chat right now. And um... Sylvia, I. Uh... I was doing the, the first unit and I couldn't get the 100 because there was one of the closest that I couldn't get. I, I think it was in the first the, in the first exercise or second in written exercise, mm -hmm. but the second one. And I, I couldn't figure out, you know, I got 95 and I was trying to figure out why, why uh, I didn't get that one correct. Yeah, and you will notice tomorrow why. Okay, perfect. Uh, don't worry, but that's good. We're, we're going to double check on that one as well. Okay, so I wrote it, my name, guys, in the three in three languages, okay? The first one is in Spanish. The second one is in English. And the third one is in French. So you can call me either or, it's fine for me. Okay? All right. All right, so... It was a pleasure. Hey, we already started the first class of this model. Isn't it amazing, guys? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So I want you to be feeling. Yeah. Yes, Maria. Yes. Okay. Good hey, night, guys. Teacher. Good night. Good night. She said, hey, good night. Good Let me good night. Bye bye, teacher. Bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Bye, teacher, no. Okay, I study like for tomorrow, okay? Hugs okay, and teacher. kisses. Bye-bye. Okay. Good, Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night,